Warning, this is a pest control video and it will show pests being controlled with air rifles. If this is likely to offend you, then please stop watching now. For the rest of you who like these type of videos, let's get on with the action. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Pontypool Pest Control. In today's video, I'm going to be heading over to the pig farm. I haven't been here for a while, so hopefully we're going to find plenty of squatters. This farm is pretty big and has plenty of livestock. So plenty of food, water and tons of shit. That's the ideal home for a rat. And it's the ideal town for the sheriff to pick up some bounties and show him all who's boss. Sadly the deputy's been ill, so he's not with me tonight. I ain't really bothered, but this pig will definitely miss him. She always sniffs his pockets to see if he has them secret pellets. The one that I lube up with Viagra jelly, ready for the rats. I don't want to start rumours, but they like spending plenty of time alone. I caught him here blowing kisses. And I'm also wondering if he rubs his eyes after loading his gun. Every time he returns from the shed, he always looks hard. It has me a little worried, thinking these all could be mini deputies. Before we get into the action, let's take a quick look at the kit I'll be using. My rifle choice tonight is the FX Impact Mark 1 in 177 calibre, and the scope is the Pad 008 LRF. All the shots will be taken standing using the Primos Trigger Sticks Gen 3. My pellet choice this evening is the Mako Slugs 10.5 grains. And finally my new toy, the Ick Micro LH25. I'm new to thermal and this is a real game changer. It's small light and the battery lasts for hours. And you can see a lot further than you're ever going to shoot, even with a bullet gun. It's very easy to use straight out the box and doesn't take a lot of practice. The buttons are spaced out, making it very easy to remember the button positions even in the dark. Let's take a quick look at its advantages. The first thing I noticed was how much detail it gives you in the image. You can see the electric fence and the fence posts, and there's no mistake in these chickens. Not only do we want to pick up an eat source, we also need to identify it before taking a shot. These rabbits are 100 yards away, and it picks them up with ease. Now I'm using a thermal, I don't need to use a torch as much and it saves me from spooking anything I wish to hunt. After a while, rats and rabbits become lamp shy, and when a light is turned on, they'll just run away. Now I can hunt in complete darkness, so I should fill the game bag more often. You can also scan a field within a few seconds. Nothing can hide if it's there, you're going to see it. Just like this rabbit sitting off the edge line. I may have passed this rabbit any other time, but even by popping its head out from the bushes, he was soon added to the bag. Hands up how many of you have shot rabbits in long grass, then spent a while looking for them, but had to leave them behind. I have done this many times and I ain't wasting anything I shoot. The firm will even sorted that problem out. With all that said, let's head on over to the farm and hand out some eviction notices. Every time the sheriff's in town, the rats always make their way out to see me. This one reminded me of a rock group. Ah, yeah, that's it, the Rolling Stones. Not long after, another one decides to have a sneaky look round, and pops his helmet out of a secret glory hole. And lucky for him, the sharpshooting sheriff was on duty, and he didn't really get his happy ending. For some reason my Viagra jelly lubed pellets are missing, and they have been swapped out for some that's been dipped in ecstasy. The sheriff is hitting these rats flush, but for some reason I just can't stop them dancing. Well, I know where my pellets were missing. Not only does the sheriff miss the rat, the deputy must be up there umping that pig.
now we seem to be back on track. I found a few of them homemade pellets. Phew, that seemed to stiffen him right up. The sheriff could even hang his hat on it. The sheriff does like to have a laugh, and tries to make the channel different from others, but jokes aside, always take your time and try and get the perfect placement, and don't forget to order your Viagra jelly for them pellets. Sadly we've come to the end of the video, I would like to thank each and every one of you who's made it this far, and also for your support. If you're new to the channel you should consider subscribing, not to miss out on any of my upcoming videos. I've recently made a Facebook group, somewhere we can all chat, swap pictures and videos and so much more. Please feel free to join. As always I look forward to chatting to you all down in the comments. Thank you very much for watching, keep safe, all the best, Pontypool Pest Control, aka the Sheriff.